Diabetes and hypertension. Um, hypertension, also known as high blood pressure. Um, it's no joke, quite seriously. Um, I've changed the setting of this video from my bed because last summer I was held up for about three days in bed. Um, no, it wasn't a Saturday. I didn't go out for our night and party. I actually had some sort of crazy thing going on in my head where I could not even focus. I couldn't focus my eyes. I couldn't see straight. I couldn't walk straight. I was I was guiding myself against the walls to move. People thought I was like a drunken sailor or something. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But, you know, I hadn't done anything to provoke this. And everybody wants to think that it has to do with diabetes, but... Um, Yes, that may have been a you know the circumstances outside of it, but the bottom line is that my blood pressure was through the ceiling. At least for me, <laughs> it was it was like 180 over 120, something that was exorbitantly high, and um, it actually had. I'm not sure if it had happened in those three days that I was in bed, but apparently I had two strokes at the same, you know, within that time, and there were just a lot of things going on that were just insane, and, you know, forever and ever and ever they say, watch your blood pressure, make sure your blood pressure is under control, and I didn't, I, it's not that I didn't take it seriously, it's that it, not in my backyard, it hadn't happened to me yet, and after going through those three days where I was I was praying for mercy. That's all I wanted. I, I couldn't even, like I said, I couldn't see straight. It was a very scary experience. I felt like I was, um, I felt like I was hung over. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't function. It was terrible. But, you know, that's one of the things they tell you, watch out about your blood pressure. And lo and behold, um, I had been on, you know, some, like, very fundamental doses of Vazitec, or I was on Capitin for a while. Um, all throughout, um, I guess, high school through college, I was taking, um, you know, ACE inhibitors to keep my blood pressure stabilized, I suppose. But I guess you get older, <laughs> you become more reliant on other drugs. And there are a bunch of combinations out there. And I guess, you know, Doses are completely different for everybody out there. So there's there's ACE inhibitors, there's ARBs, there's calcium channel blockers, there's diuretics, there's the beta blockers. There's there's tons of ways your doctors can control your blood pressure. And um, I guess what this blog really is 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 asking you, what's the magic combination for you? How many different tries and different drugs have you gone through? Because I know there are so many. Some of them I can't take because the side effects are scary to me, but, you know, everybody's got a story. So what's yours? What what hypertension medications are you on, and uh, which ones didn't work for you? Um, check it out. Um, leave your comments at alliesvoice.com or subscribe here on YouTube, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.